She's a loyalist, loyal to the, the capital and everything that it represents. And she doesn't really want anything changed. And she wants her grandson, um, Tom, played by Tom, um, wonderfully played by him, I might add, to triumph in the games because she knows that that way he'll survive and, and they will survive as a family. And uh, in fact, we, we just did uh, a scene where the whole house has been reclaimed from the poverty they were living in back to its former grandeur. And so she doesn't want them to take the furniture away, actually. And uh, so she's very much on the side of the capital and has no time at all for the people who the, the have-nots who live in poverty and starvation. We went through a lot of trials of uh, turbans, you know, she's a turban woman. And, uh, but we tried turbans and then uh, we tried hats and then this was the final um, pièce de résistance, I should say. And uh, it's perfect for her, you know, and it's perfect for the outfit. And, and I think it balances the outfit in a way that gives me enough, um, you know, enough strangeness and you don't quite know whether you should take her seriously, but when she stands up and sings the anthem with her hand on her heart, you know, you know wh where her loyalties lie. The people who designed and made the outfits, and they made two outfits for me, were, are just, I mean, they, they, there's a woman locally who did all the embroidery, hand embroidered these flowers onto the, the, the outfit and uh, just a fabulous team of designers.